immediately, there is need for a lot more work. Both for what we may, what may be called internal cleaning, tirara limpo, as Monsieur Sebastian Rutovtaudar might have said, as well as for its expansion and enlargement. The right to continue working on this work, on this book, for some more years, I might have achieved some of this myself in whatever little measure. But I felt it was necessary to place it before the public at this very stage, in the sure belief that others from better organized quarters would and could do to great justice to it. Therefore, the fond hope that someone or more, and surely better qualified than me, from the fields of company or of Italian, will develop interest and take this endeavor further. That will be a matter of great joy for me. But for now, I shall remain content with the feeling of having drawn attention to an altogether new field and done some work in breaking, breaking the ground for the eventual masterpiece to rise. Company and Italian Vaishanja Morar, ex Sadia Gomorrachan Kam, il lavoro di un muratore, de un scalpellino. Of course, occasionally I may indulge in the human frailty of feeling flattered by references to the fact that this is the first ever work of its kind. To be sure, I have been in another way from this work that is in terms of improved understanding of each of the two languages. Better understanding of my mother tongue company that I love passionately, and the language that I have fallen in love with passionately, the Italian. I must admit that remotely this was one of the objectives. Yes, it is shockingly audacious. It could amount to a display of pedestrian arrogance as well to say that one compiled a dictionary in order to learn a language. So may I put, they put it then slightly differently. The compilation of this dictionary was also in the hope of improving my linguistic competence. And I hope I have achieved some of it. Whichever way, I have profited from this endeavor. I am richer by the experience deep within. And may I share this profit and riches with whosoever. Beneath the distinct phonetics, syntax and semantics of each of them, the literature of these two languages, at least the little that I have managed to half chew, seem to have something enticing which is common to both of them. Indescribable in cold positive jargon, but palpable to the cords of the soul of a compound like me. More than in prose, it is in poetry that one can savor this mystic weather, this romanticism that I am trying to tempt you to catch. The goodness of this perceived aesthetic connection between company and Italian is not, and shall never be, contingent upon agreement between two sides, so to say, or any condescending goodwill of one of them either. Sure, the pursuit of that goodness, the realization of that beauty, can eventually bring together diverse peoples, the people of Konkan and the people of Italy, perhaps very ambitiously said. But that may not be before going through all manner of unnecessary misconceptions, suspicion, and even machinations. That emits so many unmistaken petty minds. I found quite a few open-minded partners on the Italian side as well, enlightened humans with large vision and heart is still larger, could be an assurance of a promising future for the company Italian dialogue. The mix of company language with the cultures and people of it, peoples of Europe till date have remained confined to Portuguese and English languages both of which did write to the on colonialism. 
any possible connect of company with the Italian language, there is a potential for avoiding neo-colonial stances. But there is a palpable gender, uh, danger that occasionally someone from the Italian side at least may find it comfortable to focus only on the remnants of the earlier European presence here. May we guard ourselves against this and march towards a new symphony, an enchanting jugalbandi between our two cultures. I may not be destined to see that glorious day, those golden times and to come, but as I shall rejoice in its contemplation today itself, here and now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.